everyone, welcome back to the Treble Cliff Project. My name is Gabby, I'm the director of theater, and today we're going to be talking about the basics of Meisner technique. So Meisner technique is one of many different acting techniques. However, it is the one that I am most familiar with. So I'm just going to be sharing a brief introduction into it in this video. And if you find yourself wanting to learn more by the end, I recommend reading up on a book that the actual creator of this technique wrote, Sanford Meisner. He has an entire book about it, so I'm sure you can find it on Amazon and you, you can give that a read if you want a deeper understanding of it because it is quite difficult to explain. And um, if you find yourself wanting to take Meisner technique classes, I am aware that Bay Area Acting Studio is local and they offer a lot of on-camera acting classes that are surrounded by Meisner. Essentially, Meisner technique is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. So it is similar to method acting in the sense that acting is doing, acting is reacting, acting is listening. It's never, it's, it's not saying, oh, I'm going to cry because I have to act sad. It's, it's more like I am aware that my character has just experienced something that is sad and so I am feeling sadness, therefore I am crying. Some famous actors that use this technique are Tom Cruise, Sandra Bullock, James Franco. It is more common in film, I feel like, but I think that it can also be applied to theater because it has a lot of good concepts like don't overthink things, just react and listen, um, and everything should just feel natural. It shouldn't feel like you're trying to put on a face or anything. It should just come out as you are. There are many, many exercises that you can study to understand Meisner technique, but all of it comes from the root of repetition. There's many variations of repetition. I'm going to be going over partner repetition today. Um, and so we have my Pusheens to demonstrate. <laughs> repetition is just about practicing listening and practicing getting out of your head. It's about practicing staying in the moment rather than worrying about your lines or worrying about what you have to do with your face. It's just living, living, okay? That's what we're gonna do. So repetition is quite literally just repeating after each other. So let's say these two are partners. You can do repetition in groups, but you should start off with a partner so that it is more easy to understand. So we have two partners. Okay, two machines. This one is going to look at this one. They're both looking at each other. And then they notice you have a unicorn horn. Okay, and so then guess what this machine is gonna do? They're going to repeat after what this one just said, but from their perspective. So if this one says you have a unicorn horn, this one would say I have a unicorn horn. And then they would just repeat after that. You have a unicorn horn, I have a unicorn horn. You have a unicorn horn, I have a unicorn horn. It would just keep going. And don't think about it, just listen and repeat, okay? You don't have to look for anything specific. And by the way, it should be observations about them, not about anything in the background, okay? Just focus on your partner, make eye contact. So let's just pretend that they're just repeating, okay? You have a unicorn horn. I have a unicorn horn. You have a unicorn horn. I have a unicorn horn. You have a unicorn horn. Did you see that? Did you see that? This pushing paused. That's a new moment. Moment to moment, okay? That's what we're doing in Meister. We're living from moment to moment. So this one, since they're just observing this one, they're going to notice that it is a new moment. So then, instead of saying, instead of repeating, I have a unicorn horn, this machine is gonna say, you paused. Then this one's gonna repeat, I paused, you paused, I paused. I do know that there are some teachers who say, only state facts and observations about them, don't try to make judgments about what they're feeling, but I've studied with teachers who do say, observe what they're feeling and observe what you think they look like. Um, so for example, that would be try to observe what the other person might be feeling. So this one would say, you're angry. 
then this machine would repeat, I'm angry, you're angry, I'm angry, you're angry, I'm angry. You had a bad day, I've had a bad day. You've had a bad day, I've had a bad day. You're observant, I'm observant, you're observant, I'm observant. It's just things that come up in the moment, whatever you're noticing, whatever you're seeing, there is no right or wrong. Um, you're just focusing on your partner and you just keep doing that until you get very comfortable with it. And then eventually, and then eventually you can add different circumstances on top of that to raise the stakes, but it's very difficult to explain. There is a YouTube video that further explains how you can go even deeper into repetition. The video is by John Windsor Cunningham and it is titled in all caps, what is the Meisner technique? And it is a bit of a short film, but he just explains very well how much deeper you can go into Meisner. All right, so that was level one of repetition. I do understand that it is a bit confusing, so I'd recommend trying it with a friend and it might seem uncomfortable at first, but that's kind of the whole point of repeating is just to get comfortable, you know? Take a breath, just observe, stay in the moment, and then you can apply that to your acting. Once again, lots of good YouTube videos. You can look up lots of good books and there are classes you can take. Thanks for watching, bye.